We are following breaking news at this moment. Uh, an incident, an unusual incident, with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. In the past hour, he was speaking to reporters when all of a sudden he froze. We're going to show you exactly what happened. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of Another lawmaker escorted him from the microphones. Several minutes later, he did return and answered more questions. Could you address what happened here at the start of the press conference? And was it related to your injury from earlier this year where you suffered a concussion? Is that... And that was all he would say. We want to bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian. Nicole, you were there. Tell us what happened from your point of view. Yeah, well, as you kind of saw on the video, the leader did freeze up and it looked like he uh, might have been a little off balance or off kilter that he was on the verge of passing out. But then, of course, we saw uh, some of his Senate colleagues, including Senator Barrasso, who also happens to be a doctor, uh, escort him away. You know, Senator Barrasso said he did that in part to help make sure that he was OK. And we saw the leader go into his office, which is just a few steps away from from where that press conference was being held. And then he emerged a few minutes later, mid press conference and proceeded to take questions from reporters. You heard the one question asking about what happened. He said that he was fine, but then he proceeded to answer a number of questions on news of day topics. For instance, I asked him his reaction to the Hunter Biden plea deal falling apart, uh, and he expressed concern about, you know, what we have heard many Republicans echo during the course of this investigation about what they believe is a two-tiered system of justice. He got questions about uh, House Republicans uh, considering a potential impeachment inquiry against the president. He talked about other matters. So uh, he was very lucid during that exchange. He actually took more questions than he normally does on any given week. Sometimes he can only take about two or three questions. In this case, uh, by my count, he took close to five. So um, that is a notable difference. There was one reporter towards the end of that press conference who asked about a potential replacement uh, in the event that he uh, steps down or no longer leads the conference, and he pretty much dismissed and disregarded that. Uh, in terms of uh, reaction that we've gotten from a number of Senate Republicans, you know, they, uh, while concerned, uh, feel that the fact that he did come back and return to address reporters is an indication that hopefully uh, he is okay. His office uh, telling reporters a short time ago that he was just feeling a little lightheaded, and uh, that's why he left and uh, subsequently returned. Uh, Nicole, the question that we heard uh, a reporter ask when he returned then was about uh, the leader falling and suffering a concussion, which happened a few months ago. Tell us about that incident and how the leader has seemed since then. Well, and that's why there are some concerns, and of course, everybody is asking questions, uh, and uh, perhaps rightfully so, because he did suffer a fall several months ago and was out, uh, was not here uh, at the Capitol for a number of weeks as he recovered and had to go through rehab. And he did suffer a concussion, of course. Uh, the leader is a polio survivor, and that has affected his gait to a certain extent when he walks. And so, uh, you know, that is in part uh, why he uh, had some issues with his walking that ultimately led uh, to that fall that he suffered. But he did come back and, you know, he has been carrying out his duties. He's not uh, retreating in terms of his schedule. He holds these uh, policy uh, lunch pressers on a weekly basis. He is on the floor regularly. Uh, so it hasn't uh, affected his routine since he has been back. That occurred, uh, as I mentioned, uh, several uh, months back. But uh, you know, one thing I would note is a few weeks ago, uh, there have been times at some of these press conferences where it appears he may not be hearing a question. And there was one incident where a reporter had to put a question to him multiple times before he uh, was able to respond. So that, too, also uh, raised concerns about uh, 
whether or not he may be facing some additional health challenges. So uh, that is really all we know at this time. Again, that today he was apparently feeling lightheaded, according to his office. And uh, as he noted to us, those of us in the press corps, he says, at least for now, he's fine. One thing we don't know is whether he will be evaluated for further medical treatment. So uh, that is something that we will be watching for. Okay. The 81-year-old speaker um, of the House, Mitch McConnell, doing all right at this point, says that he is feeling all right. Uh, oh, sorry, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, excuse me. Nicole Killian, thank you so much for bringing us those updates. We appreciate it.